Tuata andika kumanya Agendo wa dezomu nda We started on the names of the inner diseases Wendo uza wetu wako ma over And I think that's where we ended Ani ya jukira wetu wa chitu wako ma kwa kwa gira kwa Who remembers where we stopped talking about? We were about we were talking about the names. Amanya gategeza embera yobu deteri nunji munda. The names that imply a situation that is not good within. Amanya tuina manji galinga makumi asatu mu. We've got very many names that are above thirty. Uluanja gala tunulide linyali ya and what the young man that I got to do not to just say could hear not quite a little bit of a money knuckle this time I want us to consider fear worry and sorrow it is also an inner disease could hear quite a little bit of a knuckle one hour not so much come by bo baba to get them better to the noon fear worry and sorrow, when you read about them in the Bible, they imply a situation that isn't good. I welcome all of you that have come today. Some of the things that Pataba had Kutia. is fear. Secondly, is worrying. When you combine both of them, you cannot escape sorrow within your heart. And we said, it is very hard to avoid the inner diseases because of the following reasons. The first reason is that you are in the world and you are not there alone. The second is because you are dressed in the flesh. And even those who first came to the flesh, they put things upside down, they interchanged them. Those who came before us in the flesh, they went beyond the hedge of God and they opened the for us. There is sorrow that you'll find in life when it is not out of your counsel or your decision. Just as we shall see them. If your leaders pervert, your spiritual leaders or just these other leaders in our daily life you can take part of the error that they have done let's go to the book of Proverbs chapter 1 let's go to the book of Proverbs Let's go there and we think about fear, worrying, and sorrow. There are many things there are many times in the Bible when we are told do not be afraid about 600 plus times 
600 and 656 days huh? the, six, sorry 365 days that means every day has its own <laughs> Okay. Kati okutia no kwera likirira esawa yonna ojabisanga so any time you will encounter fear and worry nengo kitusem ke kasera obo singo kwesigamira kukatonda but when you reach that time it is the time when you need to lean on god so much ngere sure soka nyuru abiri musatu proverbs chapter 1 and verse 23 mwena mumanyiwo nere katuddewo we all know that verse, but let's revisit it. The Lord warned his people. Because Name Kale, bali nkabira na ye, sidi badam, bali no nyanyo na ye, te bali ndaba. Luwachi, olinyo luwabili momu enda, kubanga, wali waka sera, kubanga, wali waka sera, webacha ira, wali waka sera, webacha ira, okumanya. Ulile bigambe vyo. Listen to those words. So tebele boza kutia mkama. Uliombwa tukwa osome ngwero esule soka Nyiru wabili mwesa tunedobozi deneko 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 tulile Aha Mchukwe ulofman kwange Lava nafu kango moyo kwange jemuli Nava manyisa nge vigambo vyange Wanga mpise mwene mugana Ngolodo mkono kwange Sote wali mtu asiza yo moyo Na emu juru doktesa kwange kona Sote mwaga de kunenya kwa nge na katono. Ilana nge ndise kira kunaku kwa mulira vila kena. Ndi kudala entisa ya mwe bweritu uka. Entisa ya mwe bweritu uka ngo mwaga. Nena kuze bweritu. Kukwela likiri ya novala gaze bwebili bajira. Kale bwe bali nkavira na esi ridamu. Bali no nyanyo na ete bali ndaba. Wanga wacha wanga ukumanya Sote elevolo wazanga kutia mukama Olabi ya chigambo kutia na uvala gazenga Chua gerebo wako Do you see the word fear when it's being talked about here and calamity? Elio kutia baibo kwetu lagiri ukutia mukatonda There is the fear that we are commanded of That is the fear of God Omubi omu kwe ya jukiza mune nga bali kumusalaba then one thief came and confronted the other while on the cross. The other thief was quarreling while the other was rebuking. Until Jesus, save yourself and save us too. Didn't you use to save people? Before Jesus replies, the other thief replies. But you, you even have no reverence for God. So there is that fear or reverence we ought to have. But here what is mentioned is not that type. Fear and worrying. 
they attack us through what we have had. What we listen to throws the waves of fear and worry. When you read Matthew 26 and verse 36, Bible Jakugamba Yes Natuka Mochifo. Yes Natuka Mochifo. Yes Natuka Mochifo. Munyambe ko yes natuka. Mochifo. It will tell you that Jesus reached to a certain place. Yes, we're gonna tuka mchifongo wengula wao buzibunya. When he reached that place, the realm was not easy. Nagamba wamweto denti avange to save or which in tiketomede. Then he told those who were present that let's pray there is something that has confronted us. But the scriptures tell us in verse 38. He reaches a level of saying that my, sorrow, my heart is filled with sorrow and worry. Some people say that worrying is a demon. If, if it is a demon, then it is very big because it also attacked Jesus. It is a great demon. The enemy can use fear to change it to become something that has demons so worry and fear is a great disease in our spiritual lives when you read in John chapter 4 verse 17 1 John chapter 4 verse 17 The Bible talks about love which is just takes away fear because someone who fears is not fully weighing or is not fully measuring up in love. There is the fear that we ought to take out of ourselves. Just as some people fear that demons more than the scriptures. Your taboo. You are of the monkey clan. Ask your neighbor which clan do you belong to that you fear more than you fear God. I used not to fear God, but I used to fear that mamba. When I reached Nakasongola, I found the fear of the mamba within me. We went there to preach the gospel and had a great crusade in 1989. We were about 40 people and we were residing in different homes. Those who prepared food prepared mamba. And there was a great battle within me. And for me to erase that fear of the mamba within me. You don't just need to cast it away in prayer, but you need to tap it so that it can be cast away very well. Before 1986, I had burnt six Bibles. That implies I was not afraid of the Bible, O oh God, but I was fearing the mamba. And I knew that I was sold to this reproach of the clan. And I had prepared myself so that it's erased away because I tried in prayer, but it could not. 
I remember it was posho and potatoes. Mamba ngendo jira ba musowa. And the sauce was mamba. And I said, come what may, I have to cast this out of me. And it was in the night and I took away the lamp so that I, when I am getting the sauce, I do not see there. But I had been told that when you eat mamba, your skin will peel off. I took it and I swallowed it very fast and I knew that I was done with it. When I tested it, it was delicious. And I continued to eat it. I glorify God that ever since that time, I'm not afraid of eating mamba. So there is that fear that has been planted into us of the clan, the tribe. When you need to escape it and you move to another level of knowing that you are a chosen nation, a chosen nation and a royal priesthood. Amen. Amen. There is worry we ought to prepare ourselves for as children of God. This wave comes from the world. The world in which we are is still bringing very many things that cause worry to us. Just as we are going to see some of them. The wave that comes from the world brings things that take away our peace. We need to prepare ourselves for it through learning. In Luke 18 verse 8, Jesus said, by the time the Son of Man comes, will he find faith on earth? Who is the beginner of our faith? Yes. Jesus Christ. Yes. Who will perfect our faith? Yes. Who will perfect our faith? And then a word like, will there be faith on earth by the time I return? Yes, Jesus was looking at the waves that will come and quench the lanterns of faith. Like in Matthew 24 and verse 10. Just as re rebellion will increase, even the love of many will grow cold. Matthew 18, 8 has said, By the time the Son of Man comes, will he find faith on earth? Luke 18 and verse 8. Will the Son of Man find faith on earth when he returns? What about Matthew 24.10? That in those days very many will be stumbled. Very many will give up. Because rebellion will increase and the love of many will grow cold. So fear and worry they take away our love in God. And they make our love for spiritual matters cold. They can even make our prayers cold. 
Are we still there? I remember if it was Pastor Chaze, if I've not forgotten. Who talked about his wife? On one of the pulpits. This is a pastor's wife. And the, the old cry, cried. Mami, 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 mami. My husband, husband. And that was the old. And old. Mchalani? Mnyambe ko mchalani? Mchalam Sumba. Azuku sani? Chechi badeo? Asoka webuze chako zechi. Okaba kwechi ugulu kwa ina makuruchi. What is the importance of the crying of an old? Mwami echi ugulu. My husband. Mwami na ugulu. Chibadechi. And the husband asked, what is wrong with it? Chikaba. It is crying. Do you see the fear that we have at we times? We know that if it cries, there is a message that comes to your mind that someone is going to die. Hey, pastor, but after the pastor hearkening to the fear that the wife had, he received a message from there. I want you to ask you, how does the old sing and how can you distinguish it from the cry? Ask your neighbor, how does an old sing to God? And ask him or her, are you still one of those who gets afraid when an old cries? Amen. 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 Where we are we going? There are many waves that shall rise up when they are coming at the level of the world. Nahum 314 tells us to draw water for our souls. Draw water for yourselves before the sage comes. That is in Nahum chapter 3 and verse 14. Kubanga in, in Proverbs chapter 1 where we read he said that because they have rejected knowledge whenever, whenever you fail to get hold of that truth and establish yourself in that knowledge when the wave comes you don't have the roots to stand firm amidst it we read about the first generation and to those who feared, the go, who feared God and made this persecution. Do we remember when they were in Babylon? And we see the wave that rose up from Babylon when it was confronting the faith of the people. Do we remember that? And we remember in Daniel 3 when the king put an image that all the people may worship it. And and he added a command that anyone who is hearkening to me should follow this in worship. And they also put a punishment for anyone who will disobey that command. The Bible says in Daniel 11 from 31 and the verses that follow that for those that know their God they shall remain strong that's Daniel 11 and verse 31 those who know their God 
when they are truthful and they have drank the truth they have tied themselves to the truth and they are determined to walk by the truth even though the king rose up and put something difficult because because they knew the truth and put it into practice before it happened the, the scriptures say that the Lord fought for them amidst a difficult time that picture in Daniel chapter 3 that was made on the, during the generation of Daniel that image or idol is coming back. That idol or image is coming back. Some say we shall not be around. Let's be ready so that we are taken. But let's have both kinds of mindsets. Let's have the mindset of being taken before that image comes back. And then let's also have the mindset of if we are still there. Let us draw enough oil for us so that we, if we are to be taken, we are there. And also let's draw another anointing that if we are not taken, we can go. But that which happened will happen again. Do you know why the entire world is going to be gathered in three categories? It's going to be gathered up in politics and we have one government. And it's going to be gathered up regarding worship and we have one gospel. And it's also going to be collected together regarding currency and we shall have one currency. All these they are fulfilling the prophecy in the Bible. We are in the waves when the Bible is unfolding itself. Only those who know their God shall remain standing. We are going to handle the topic about the beast because we are in the time of exactly that which is happening in the entire world have you seen the phones that are now put on the skins of people have you heard about it already it's in work in they are leaving the phones that we have. But you just have the numbers on your arm. Does it have any message? I was with a pastor who got some challenge with a wife. And the world is very far from us where we even don't know that it is. The scientific wisdom is coming and it is just getting into the prophecy in the Bible. And Daniel says that in the latter days, knowledge will be at a very, at the peak. As he said it, it didn't happen during their generation, but it has been fulfilled in our generation. He was telling me how his wife was handled, and then I realized that we are badly off. When the wife went to Masaka, he was with, in love with someone. She was in love with someone. 
And she wanted to get money from the husband. When you hear such things, you say women are people you can't trust. When you hear it is a man who has done such, you say men are difficult. Side, side is on on both sides, evil is rising up at a terrific rate. And the more evil increases, godliness reduces within us. And we shall consider a scripture in Jeremiah 7.27. This pastor talked and I felt touched and I was like, God, make me a servant. Some of the things I say, you may not understand them now, but let me speak them. Are we still there? Jeremy, あれと自体変わらん。コンピンピコ、あれしコンピンよ。かれ。色ばがんべびがんぼびのびよな。ねてばくりれんが。え。色ばこうらんが。ねえ。色ばがんばんが。ちのれごんが。いたうりでどぼ
the second day the same story very difficult words they mounted to a level and remember they were in the lodge should we give her the phone you talk to her women are difficult people <laughs> even the men can't be trusted after reporting to police this is the part that I have loved so much the police officials told him continue giving them the money so that it can enable us to track them and know where they are we never should switch on her phone according to the tracking system it can even show the other phone numbers that are in the same vicinity tell your neighbor we aren't badly off we never should switch on the phone to make a call it could show the other phone numbers in the same vicinity they traveled to Masaka and they had the phone numbers that were next to this particular phone. Whenever they would switch off, it would read that this is the number that was next to this. So they first contacted those people who were the owners of those phones and they would tell them we are getting you until you take us to where this person is the phone would even show the lodge where they were thank you for holding your phones friends. they are taking us somewhere such kind of knowledge is pointing somewhere whether we want it or not. With my wife when we were moving to Kasubi we were Someone came and snatched it, did not run, came in front, said farewell to us and continued. From that time I'm afraid of anyone who passes nearby my car. Evil is increasing at a terrific speed. So, hold your bag family where you are. We have brethren who work in that. And then we tell that person, get us a phone, mommy's phone has been stolen. Remember, they took the SIM card in also. And she had to get a new SIM card. When she put the, phone, the SIM card in a new phone, the phone we were given, it had been a stolen phone. Have you understood that? Does your mind connect also to the other side or only on the phone as you're using it? When we inserted a new SIM card, we saw the police coming to us there in the office. They were in their casual wear and they are very humble. They were in their casual wear and they are very humble. 
and they asked that this number 077670 is in the names of so and so. Do you know her? I um, was like, um, yes, um, I know her. We need her. <laughs> they were two and one woman they had a pistol and also a chain then they brought out the warrant card on such and such a day she got the phone and it is a stolen phone she used it she used it but we didn't like it and we returned it <laughs> we need her because she will help us to get to where the phone is God helped us that we had got it from someone whom we knew and she narrated the entire story of how she was robbed. And they said, if it weren't you, Pastor Senfuma, because we know you, we would have gone with your wife. We called the contact of the person who sold us the phone, and he wasn't around. He had what saved Mrs. Senfuma from not being taken to jail that day is the name of Senfuma who is known. And they said, so we are trusting that you will get for us that person and if you do not do so we shall see let me make this announcement stop buying used phones if you are to save your soul from getting sorrow the Lord helped, her, helped us and that brethren came the police came and he was taken. They had to do a follow up of all the people who had got that phone till when they reached the person who stole it. The pastor told me how they did a follow-up of all these people and some of them ran away, though some were arrested. Tell your neighbor the phone is very good. Every photo that you have ever taken. More so those who take nude photos. One one time, one day, the nudeness will be exposed. Can I send you the thigh? It is there. They will show the thigh that you exposed. Ask your neighbor. What do you use the phone for? Ask another two. Which part have you ever sent and you feel like removing it from there? It has already been taken and it is held somewhere. It is said that the control room of photos and every information is in Brussels. So every photo that you've ever taken is there. Every style that you have ever taken is there. Are we still here? There is something that will come from the world. 
Also, the level at which the world is is a fulfillment of the scriptures. It is the time for us to begin reading the signs of the end times in which we are. It is the time for us to be watchful. Why is this happening? It is the time for us to open our ears to the Holy Spirit. And the scriptures tell us in Isaiah 24, 18 there will be a great shaking that shall come from the earth. The earth will break down and Ezekiel 1 when times will come and will be in these end times and a parent will wonder why she or he gave birth and the rich people will also get their wealth and throw it away when they see it has no importance there will be tribulation and suffering to those who want to, be, to stand with God the Bible said that the beast will fight against the righteous and overcome them. And we are right now standing in that time. Bible the Bible asks, if you're getting tired when you're running with those who are just walking, how about those who are on horses? If you're getting tired when nothing is running after you, how about if what is chasing you comes? Friends, it's time for us to draw water for our souls. It is time for us to draw the anointing. For where we are going is not as good as you may think. We want to get time so that we pray that the Lord takes away the fear that is not divine. The worry and fear as believers it will increase in time to come and the scriptures are saying there will be no one to sell or to buy until you accept the system that shall be laid remember anything that comes and it concerns the money anything that concerns eating very, very few people can sustain their faith when they are standing on God. But when we know that truth early, those who know their God shall be strong. Very many things discourage us. But the Lord has called us and told us to lay down whatever discouragement us. Worry and fear and tribute and they are waves that we go through. They are waves that we go through. You cannot lose your beloved and you remain thinking the way you were. You can't. You can't. You can't lose what belongs to you. My daughter Sanyu can testify of this. Someone came and robbed her of 18 million. They are just fake. After you gathering your money and you lose it to those and you remain thinking the way you are. When it has happened to you in church, it is pain. It is pain. Worry. Worry. 
evil thoughts can come to you and if the Lord does not help you you can take a bad decision Amen. I pray that the Lord may send help to someone today who is going through such a situation. Lift up your hands. Yes. 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 Ago kwera li kirida. Ago kwera li kirida. Ago kutia. Ago kutia. Obubala gaze. Obubala gaze. Obulumi omoyo guange. Obulumi omoyo guange. Ai mukama. Ai mukama. Tase meme yange. Tase meme yange. Isive koba. Isive koba. Isiva koba. Isiva koba. Mpama gezi. Mpama gezi. Ompa mani, ompa mani. Tegere, tegere. Era mani, era mani. Era tule wansi, era tule wansi. Njigiri ziwa mazima, ziwa mazima. Sive nkoba, sive nkoba, sive nkoba, sive nkoba. Nyweza, nyweza. Gawe chawa ni chwa, gawe chawa ni. Mukose ya kumine mu, mukose ya kumine mu. Oruni ni oruo kuna, oruni ni oruo kuna. Noru ni oruo kutano, noru ni ni oruo kutano. Ono tu sive migua, ono tu sive migua. Ejo kwa gala, ejo kwa gala. No tu walula, no tu walula. No tu zajiori, no tu zajiori. Sibo mtu wangu wamunda, sibo mtu wangu wamunda. Musive nkoba, musive nkoba. Parula, parula. Zijia mchinya, zijia mchinya. Echo kutia, echo kutia. Zijia mchinya, zijia mchinya. Echo kwera likirida, echo kwera likirida. Siva, siva. Neme kuda mabega, neme kuda mabega. Ayo moyo mtu kuvu, ayo moyo mtu kuvu. Yanya ba mti maguange. Chogeza mani, yanya ba mti maguange. Yanya ba mti maguange. Ensi yendi mu. Ensi yendi mu. Eri mo kwera likira kuni. Eri mo kwera likira kuni. Na yenyweza. Na yenyweza. Sigeenda kunda mabega. Sigeenda kunda mabega. Kuvanga teri yomu na mubuta guao. Teri yomu na mubuta guao. Yagenda maso. Yagenda maso. Dimwe tegefu. Dimwe tegefu. O kufirwe chintu chona. O kufirwe chintu chona. Taso mo yoguange. Taso mo yoguange. Yamba. Yamba. Mweza, jaga la kulaba, jaga la kulaba, jaga la kutegera, jaga la kutegera. Unyanya eri a Yesu, unyanya eri a Yesu. Bona ne bagamba anti. Amina. We are going to pray. Sumbanga mazo kunyumiza mkazwe na gambi ya mkama Mpaye chise chilala Sengeche chantu useko mchalo no musonyi wantia After the pastor narrating to me the entire story I said Lord save me If it had happened to me How do I forgive this woman Zinga kwa baibo yonko bulileoka Cover up your baibo and I tell you this Teke richa singo kubere kambwe One of the difficult laws is the law of forgiving. Do you see our daughter who was defrauded 18 years ago? The law remains standing forgive. You go back to zero and the other goes to eat what they want. Musonyue Chala wa kwa galamu milioni atano. Musoni we. Musoni we. Nyambi ya kwa galamu milioni atano. Musoni we. When your wife wants to get to the million. Omupi ya zechira be. Mukolo otia. Musoni we. Eya so mwana. Musoni we. Ebyo musoni we viangungu mwana si uu. It's very easy to say forgive when the child is not yours. Nebakutila bana babili onakurumu. Two children are murdered on the same day. The spiritual law remains saying forgive. 
I fear the Bible. Maybe it's easy for you. It's very easy to know it. But putting it into practice. If it is even hard for you to just give the time. Yes. Yes. <laughs> Stand up on your feet and pick your We are going to pray for our souls so that we draw anointing for our souls. Where we are going is not easy. We need the help of the Holy Spirit. Pick your offertory. And those who have pledges. I've requested that we all stand up. There are some who enjoy the service so much. But when we reach the time of giving, you say, Oh, pick your offertory. You bring it forth and then you go back Again, to your place. Magezi, we pray, pray for wisdom. We pray for anointing. Offer in the house of God. Then thereafter you go back and tell the Lord, bind me with your cords. All of us who are still seated, stand up on your feet. The entire month of July is of prayer and fasting. Worry. Fear. Fear. And sorrow. Pray that the Lord takes it away from you. You should not be afraid of death. You should not fear death. You must supersede that wave. With your hands raised up. Kurange sobola. Kurange si sobola. Awatari gwe omoyo. Awatari gwe omoyo. Si sobola. Sibekoba Dobozide ne nyumba yange. Nyumba yange. Ereme kugwa. Ereme kugwa. Nese nera mafuta. Nese nera mafuta. Nese nera mazi. Nese nera mazi. Ne kwe kamuriato. Ne kwe kamuriato. Erinyario. Erinyario. Shigocha mani. Shigocha mani. Zijamo. With your eyes closed. So when someone takes poison, the doctors dilute it. Today's service, you who came filled with fear, you who came with sorrow, you who came when you're worried, the Holy Spirit is going to dilute what was consuming you. The next minute, permit the Holy Spirit to do a great work in you. To take away the sorrow. Even the toilets are emptied. You are also carrying that. But the Holy Spirit is going to empty you. Amen. Amen.
Come 
According to where we are standing as the earth, let's keenly consider what is happening and make research about it. Research about that functionality where your phone and everything that regards the phone is on your hand. And you compare it to the prophecy in the Bible. So that we walk reading the signs. But for those who know their God, they shall be strong. Uh, 